Hello and welcome to my review of WP Scope. Um, so let's just jump right into it. Um, the WP Scope is a WordPress plugin, so it installs just like any other any other plugin. Uh, you'll notice when it first loads up, you'll see it over here in the uh, the left navigation, and it will be prompted to first uh, just set up a few um, of the initial settings. And this is pretty much a one-time thing. Uh, once it's set up, you're pretty much ready to go. Uh, so taking a look, just uh, you know, you'll get an activation key, obviously, so that the uh, you just enter your license in here. Uh, you're going to do a, a little bit of settings here around Periscope, uh, so that you can connect through their API and uh, search those videos and upload videos. Uh, you also have some video settings that you'll uh, you'll want to to set up, uh, whether you're going to use YouTube, Amazon uh, S3, or Daily Motion. Uh, they give you a few few um, different parameters here. Uh, your automation, uh, if you'd like it to auto post to uh, say you know to Twitter or to Facebook, you can get all those settings set up right here. And they also offer uh, a way for you to make some money on this. Uh, anything that you post, you can actually have uh, you can sign up here at JVZoo uh, and go ahead and add your affiliate ID here. And anyone who sees your uh, your posts and these videos could, if they click and are interested in buying this particular plugin, you get, will make a commission. Um, so anyway, so uh, well, this is the one time setup. Uh, once we do that, we're going to hop over to the scope manager, and I've already created just a little testing one here, which I'll go ahead and edit, and we can take a look at how we set these things up. It seems very, very straightforward, very simple. Uh, it gives you step by step. Uh, the one thing I really like is that it gives you tutorials on each of the steps, so you don't just have one massive video to kind of you know scrub through. Uh, it breaks it down into all these uh, you know these sections. Uh, same for the settings as well. It walks you through each step and, and what you need to do to set those up. Um, so to begin with, obviously, we just name our campaign. Um, next, we're going to enable this scope. So in other words, enable this campaign when we set that to active. Um, they've got some very helpful tool tips here as well uh, that really kind of explain exactly what each of the fields do. Um, so here we have our keyword settings. Right now, I just put the keyword marketing. You can have multiples, as you'll see. Um, there's a, a nice little, little tool tip of examples on how you can use it. Uh, your language, uh, different language settings here. Uh, it can be for your scopes or for other people's scopes. So in this case, I would just love rather search uh, on you know other people's scopes and start to use those uh, and monetize those. Now you can also set uh, specific users. If there's a user that you follow, you can set a uh, one or a list of them um, in here by putting their Twitter handle in there, and it will then just go out and search their videos and and download those. Um, so once we have that set. We hit next, so this is the WP post. So what it's going to do is it's automatically going to post to your blog. Um, so what we have here is a, the, the post, the title template, um, and they give you some suggestions here for titles uh, and, and available tags. So uh, as you can see, uh, they have just a few populated here, and you can just hit add this, which is what I've done, and it basically puts that in there for you. Or you can create your own titles. Either way, you don't have to use the pre-builts, um, but it's just a convenience there. Um, so you'll see the description, uh, any tags you'd like to add, the status, publish or draft, and then you can actually put it into the categories. So you can post it to the categories that you already have. Um, you can post to one category selected below randomly, uh, or you can post to a category that matches the campaign name. And if it doesn't, it'll actually create the category for you. So pretty, uh, it's pretty nice. Um, so once you have that set up, um, you're going to go to next here, and you're going to set your video parameters. So this is basically if you're loading to Daily Motion or YouTube, um, you're going to want to set the title of that uh, that video, the description, as well as some tags. So if you've ever used YouTube before, it's it's you, you'll know exactly what to do here. But they also do give you suggestions um, for those as well. So they have a, a bunch populated there for you. Um, next, we're going to head on over to frequency, and we're just how many posts do you want to want to do? I mean, uh, you know, with Periscope, there's so many videos being put up, uh, you know, all the time. Uh, you can have, you know, let's just say we wanted three, you know, or two, two uh, per hour. Um, so basically, what it'll do is it'll take, um, you know, those first two videos, it'll create one post for one, one post for the other, uh, and then the next hour, it'll do the next and the next and so on. Um, so it really is an autopilot solution. Um, heading on to the next, the traffic here is we're going to want to where do we want to put it. So do we want to set it with YouTube, uh, Amazon, or Daily Motion? And when you select those, you'll get a couple of different, just depending which one you you select, a couple different options there. Uh, you can set your categories, and then you can have it unlisted or public, uh, up to you. Uh, you may want to have it unlisted to begin with um, until you want to tweak it or, or whatever you may want to do. Now here's where you can actually set it to auto post to Facebook and to Twitter as well, um, and that's it. Uh, you just hit finish and let it and let it go. 
Now I've done this already and I have, uh, you'll see I have three videos in upload progress. So it's actually uploading a few of these already. Um, what you can do is really check back. Uh, just come back, refresh the scope manager and you'll see all these will, will uh, refresh once you've, uh, once it's found, you know, and matched your tags um, and exactly where it's, you know, where it is in, the, in its progress of uploading, downloading uh, and so on. Um, and that's that's pretty much it. It's a very simple to use system, uh, very powerful to grab those videos. You know, the thing with Periscope again is that those videos disappear after 24 hours if, if they're not saved. So now you can take advantage of, uh, you know, they're all public domain. So you can go grab those videos, use them for your own, put a complete autopilot and start creating that following. Um, so overall, I think this is uh, very well done by Cindy, uh, very simple to use, which I, which I really like. And it's it's the autopilot feature. Um, so thanks for joining me and go ahead and pick up your copy today. Uh, if you act now through the links uh, below, uh, you'll also get access to our $400 of the bonus products. Um, this is a very small grand opening um, window. I believe it's going to be five days and for the first two hours you're going to get $8 off of that already discounted price. Um, but after the five days the price will go up so uh, I would grab my copy uh, right away. Thanks.